Christian Horner dropped a shocking bombshell when he revealed that Lewis Hamilton has had serious discussions about coming to Red Bull. And now, the Mercedes star has broken his silence, claiming that nothing happened between them. According to Horner, their latest round of talks happened this year, just before he sealed the deal for a new contract with Mercedes. In August, Hamilton inked a fresh agreement to remain with the Silver Arrows for a minimum of the next two seasons. But Red Bull bigwig Horner has made a jaw-dropping claim that the seven-time world champion thoroughly considered other possibilities before ultimately pledging his allegiance to Mercedes. As per Horner, this involved Hamilton's representatives reaching out to Red Bull, exploring the prospect of a potentially blockbuster partnership with his arch-title rival, Max Verstappen. He told the Daily Mail, We have had several conversations over the years about Lewis joining. They have reached out a few times. Most recently, earlier in the year, there was an inquiry about whether there would be any interest. But I can't see Max and Lewis working out together. The dynamic wouldn't be right. We are 100% happy with what we have. He also claimed that Hamilton, who was faced a victory drought since December of 2021 due to Mercedes challenges in F1's ground effect era, engaged in discussions with Ferrari president John Elkin regarding a potential switch to Marinello. Red Bull is standing firm behind Christian Horner's assertion that Lewis Hamilton approached the team regarding a potential move earlier this year, as reported by Sky Sports' Craig Slater. Providing an update on the situation, Slater revealed that after reaching out to both teams, Red Bull continues to support Horner's account, while Mercedes is attempting to cast doubt on it. I thought I'd better fact check it, so I got in touch with Red Bull, and they say, yes, absolutely, Christian Horner stands by this. A known Lewis Hamilton representative made contact with him. They wouldn't specify how in-depth this contact was particularly, but it did happen. That's the more interesting aspect to all of this, because Lewis has ultimately re-signed with Mercedes for another couple of years, and he did speak during the contract negotiation process about not looking anywhere else. I did get in touch with Mercedes, who tell me they are relaxed, they are not stressed about any of this. As far as they see it, they think it's rather implausible, but it would be, in their view, due diligence for a representative of Lewis Hamilton to go and maybe see what else is out there, what future opportunities might potentially be out there, but they're not taking it particularly seriously, and it is not in any way an issue between the team and Lewis, even if this did happen, which they're not convinced it did. It could even be the case, of course, that Lewis didn't even know about this contact necessarily. One insider connected with the team observed to me, well, is this Christian Horner needing to use Lewis's name to make a few headlines? Lewis Hamilton thinks that Christian Horner was just stirring things up when the Red Bull team boss claimed that he had reached out about a potential move earlier this year. When asked about Horner's claims upon his arrival in Abu Dhabi for Formula 1's season finale, the Mercedes driver appeared puzzled. Unable to resist firing a few shots at the Red Bull boss, he said that Horner loves that kind of stuff while talking about the matter at hand with Sky Sports F1. He said, I don't really know where that story has come from. I mean, I know it's come from Christian, so I don't really understand what he's been talking about. Because no one, as far as I'm aware, from my team has spoken to him. I haven't spoken to Christian really in years. However, he did reach out to me earlier in the year about meeting up, but that's it. I just congratulated them on an amazing year, and said hopefully soon, I'll be able to fight against you guys in the near future. And that was it. So I'm not really sure. I think he's just stirring things. There aren't any confidential discussions. You know Christian, he loves that kind of stuff. Hamilton has also provided additional details about the message he claims to have received from Horner earlier this year. The Mercedes star remembered returning from a race weekend earlier this season and discovering a message from Red Bull team principal Christian Horner. But Hamilton said that he had changed his phone number and it was one among hundreds of messages he had received at that time. Despite Horner's claim, Hamilton is quick to say that his representatives did not reach out to Horner in Red Bull. He told the media, I checked with everyone on the team, and no one has spoken to them, but they have tried to reach out to us. I picked up my old phone, which I just found at home that had my old number, and I switched it on, and obviously, hundreds of messages came through and I realized there was one from Christian saying to get together and have a chat at the end of the season. 
In the interview, Horner also suggested that Hamilton had conversations with Ferrari before finalizing a contract extension with Mercedes. The seven-time world champion didn't find it weird for a rival team principal to discuss his future. Hamilton explained that his name carries a certain weight in Formula One, often sparking interest and discussions. Hamilton also took the initiative to inform his current boss, Toto Wolff, about Horner's message, aiming to alleviate any concerns about his loyalty to the Mercedes team. When asked if he found it strange for Horner to discuss his contractual situation, which wasn't his concern, Hamilton responded, saying, Not really. I think if you really think about it, there's a lot of people here that like to drop my name in many conversations, because they know it's going to make waves. And if you're a little bit lonely and don't get paid much attention, that's what they tend to do. Just mention my name. I did tell Toto, especially when the story broke, just because I have so much respect for Toto, we have a great relationship. I also want my team to know, because people think those things and it's never positive. And initially, I just replied to him on my new phone. It was after a weekend. I can't remember. It was quite late on that I found the message, but it was from earlier on in the year. I just said, congratulations on an amazing season, and I hope we're able to compete with you soon. And he replied, repeating the same thing. During the driver's press conference in Abu Dhabi, David Croft asked Max Verstappen about this, and he responded with a snarky and bad-tempered reply. Verstappen sees no need to comment on the prospect of Lewis Hamilton almost becoming his teammate, because in the end, it's not happening. He said, What would it add to know? Because I didn't know. It's not happening. You know there's no point to make up stories if it's not happening. But if you're curious about Verstappen's feelings regarding Hamilton as a teammate, he wouldn't have any objections to it. He continued, So yeah, I wouldn't mind. It doesn't matter anyway. I don't want to put it now, particularly on Lewis. I mean, there are so many great drivers as well. Sometimes, it just doesn't work out like that. While teams have paired top drivers in recent years, as exemplified by the Hamilton and Nico Rosberg pairing, such arrangements have caused headaches that Toto Wolff has expressed a desire to avoid in the future. Although fans may relish the idea of witnessing the best drivers competing head-to-head -head in the same cars, for the teams, it often translates to a looming repair bill. Even though, given Red Bull's dominance this season, the outcome would likely have mirrored that of 2023, a Constructors' Championship, in a 1-2 in the driver's standings, if a rival team had been closer, the last thing Red Bull, or any team wants, is their drivers potentially taking points off each other. What do you think? Is Lewis Hamilton telling the truth, or is he hiding a few things from us to save face? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for the hottest F1 news.